Dude, they executed the entire Takatsugi and Ensho portion so beautifully, man. And I'm not just saying that as a Takatsugi fanboy, bro. I really do mean it, man. They did a great job of showcasing the struggle that both of these men were going through at that time, man. Woo! It was... It was just executed so well, man. First of all, by Sirachi for, 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 for writing it, first of all. But the anime really did a good, really did a good job of, of, of animating it, man. It was, it was, I, let me, let me watch this real quick. The, uh, the ending. Because I promise, like I said, I'm going to live react to every single part, uh, ending sequence they have here. So let's see. This chunk goes in hard, man. You look at the Yagyu, bro. The Yagyu arc. I gotta rewatch that sometimes here in the next couple weeks. My Neitsuba, bro. That's my most rewatched arc. Man, bro, the memories of this wonderful series, dog. The Shinsengumi Crisis. <laughs> the Sungo train scene. My boy Ito san. <laughs> man. This is a good episode. They handled the Mutsu scene really well as well. The Mutsu sacrifice scene. All of the Kihei Tai scenes were so good, man. With with Hen Peita and and Matako, man. Y después, huh. So next, uh, might as well go ahead and load it because I'm gonna watch it right now anyway. Uh, I'm gonna do a reaction to episode 358. I have to, bro. I have to, yo. I know how legend. I know the legendary stuff that happens in that episode, so I have to. Uh, I got. I got to react to it. But regardless, uh, yo, this episode was really well done, though, man. The end show and Takatsugi scenes, um, the Kihei Tai scenes. A lot of the Sakamoto um, Katsura battle with Ensho was done really well as well. Um, a lot of really good battle sequences in this episode F from an emotional standpoint, which is my favorite aspect of Kintama in, in these in this sort of situations, was handled really, really well. The Ensho flashback in the beginning of the episode um, delivered its points, man. I, I've always loved that that flashback so much, but like, he goes out to war, man, to, to just to get rid of everything that's on his mind, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, he goes out there and burns everything else up to ash because that's all he can do and who do we know who who else do we know that's like that man we've been takatsugi bro this man wants to destroy the world because he no longer wants anything to do with it dog this man wants to decimate it because of everything that keeps eating him up at all times like he'd, he'd rather just destroy it and be done with it and like um that's that's one thing i've always loved about takatsugi but to have these two characters go at it when they're so similar man and showing them the, the similar types of battles that they have just to stay up. Yo, my man Takatsugi was barely alive getting there as it is. And then the clout of Takatsugi Shinsuke, bro, coming in there regardless. After falling down, getting wrecked, man, gets... Oh, I love that scene whenever he picks up the the phone and he starts talking to, to Henpeza. And he's like, oh, you're worrying about me? How low have I fallen? Like, like he's the leader, coach. And this is a little bit after Bonsai died, man. And then he shows up on the battlefield. And like like the soldier said, man, both the morale of the enemies and the allies were completely changed the moment that that man stood, stood, stood foot on the battlefield. The moment he stepped foot on the battlefield, it was a wrap for everyone because they knew of his clout. They knew of the goat. They knew of Tagatsugi Hatsuki, bro. He stood just went, showed up in like swim where the art was fantastic, man. So I took so many screenshots during this entire end show and, and Takatsuki altercation, man. I want to rewatch it, but I, I really want to watch. I really want to watch episode three hundred fifty-eight. 
So I'm gonna do that. But man, the art was fantastic, bro. Really good facial expression shots for Takasuke and Ensho. I thought that entire portion, great stuff, great, great stuff. Really felt the struggle between the two characters and the bullet coming in from Matako, man. Great, great stuff, man. It coming in on the side, the way it took off a clip of Ensho's hair. I mean, really great cuts, man. And I and I always appreciate whenever the the uh, BNP takes time to really put emphasis on certain scenes, and they really up their game for the last like six minutes of the episode, man. You throw that entire altercation between Ensho and Takatsugi. I continue. I continue to say, man, that I need to make another uh, top ten favorite characters, top ten favorite Gintama characters, because after Silver Soul, there's no question. There is no question that I got that, that I got Takatsuki higher than I did last time, man. Because the last time I made a list, if I'm not mistaken, we were either at the end of Farewell... No, no, it was past Farewell Shinsengumi. I think we were in the beginning of Rakuyo, if I'm not mistaken, was... Because I don't remember if I made the list here on this channel or on the old channel. If I made it on the old channel, then it was beginning of Rakuyo. But if I did it on this channel, it was like midway Rakuyo, end of Rakuyo, whatever. But when I, whenever I made the top 10 characters video... Um, it was a little past, it was before Takatsugi came back and it was, um, so there was a lot of stuff that happened after Shogun Assassination, because after Shogun Assassination, Gintoki, Gintoki and Takatsugi were my two favorite characters. Um, and it had been like that the whole series. But after Farewell Shinsengumi, I loved Kondo so much and the entire Shinsengumi so much that I just had to have him at number two, bro. I, I had to, bro. But now, man... After both Rakuyo and Silver Soul, I gotta put Takatsugi back on the throne. I mean, not number one. Gintoki's number one, no question. The whole Yorozuya is number one for me. But um, I gotta put Takatsugi right under, bro. Y'all know that's my boy, man. And every time you see this, bro, I mean, he's questioning himself in this episode. Like, how many more bodies do I have to step over? How many, people, how many, more, how many more people do I have to kill? And when I get to the end of that road, what awaits me there? You know what I'm saying? And I just love that, bro. I absolutely love that. <sighs> Takatsugi Shinsuke, man. That's my boy, dog. And they love him so much, man. His comrades. What a fantastic organization, bro. But regardless, yo, I'm about, to, I'm about to go watch episode 358. I just wanted to talk a little bit about 357. 357 was a, was a really fun episode to watch, man, from beginning to end. Uh, I mean, the first half, I mean, I, I think the, the second half uh, was, was way better than the first half just because it had more stuff in it that, 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 I, that, I, that I loved. Um, you know, like all the connection between the Kehitai and then, yo, man, Takatsugi and show, bro. I mean, that's just done so well. There was that um, outer shot where it had both of them in it and uh everything was oranged out and or i'm sorry the background was orange and they were like shadowed out but you saw their characters like slowly getting up man on some shogun assassination stuff and that was really really cool so um i always appreciate little details like that man it's a really good stuff i really enjoyed 357 so i'm about to go ahead and watch episode 358 so i'm literally gonna press red and then i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna press stop Get put on my headphones and I'm pressing I'm pressing record again. So I'll see y'all for episode 358 reaction of the Gotama Awesome Sauce. <laughs>